Hi and welcome to this introduction to iMovie for iPad. This uh, application is simply superb when you consider um, the size of the iPad and what it can do. It's really fantastic as well because what it actually does, because the iPad's got the camera the, for filming and for taking photos and what have you on there as well, it means that you can produce uh, really, really high quality um, videos, tutorials, you name it, uh, all on the iPad without having to actually go anywhere else. So look, when you get into iMovie, uh, you'll come up with a screen like this one. You can see some previous movies that I've created myself here. If you've just purchased the app, then obviously you won't have these here. But to start making your own, um, you need to tap on the plus symbol in the bottom left uh, corner. In the, in the far left corner there's a question mark, I'll, I'll just address that very quickly if you are learning it uh, by going on to there you can see there's some really nice little help there for you um, to get you started and help you get through the various bits uh, within iMovie but hopefully you won't need too much of that after having watched this little introduction so we'll tap on the plus symbol and you can either make a new trailer or a new project um, in this screencast we're just going to look solely at the new project so you tap that and you then go in now on your left hand side you can see there's some images and some video clips already there at the bottom you can see a little film roll icon next to that is a, another icon with two sort of rectangles but if you tap that it goes through to your photos and then across again onto the uh, music symbol there and you've got your different sounds that you can then go through. It does come with some nice sound effects as well. And if you're previewing, if you just tap onto the play icon, it will then just play that for you. Like so. So we're just going to drop in some video clips. Um, I'm not really you know, bothered about what's in this movie right now, it's just for demonstration purposes, so I'll just go into that and I'll just drop in um, a little video clip from something that I made for Teach Me Clevedon. So select the clip you want and then tap the blue arrow in the middle and it will drop straight in onto your timeline and you can see this video clip here has already got a few things on it so you can see there's me you can see that live from 10 Downing Street thing well that comes in from a theme um, within iMovie and we get those in by just tapping the uh, cog icon on the top right hand corner and in there you can choose your theme and the one that I chose there is the one at the end is the CNN I reports so how do you get those to appear actually on top of your movie because the one we can see down the bottom here uh, moving around again now the reason why you can see it on there is because that's a finished movie so what I'm going to do I'm actually just going to take that out so I'm going to delete that clip and I'm going to find the actual 30 second clip of Cameron here so I'm going to drop that in and what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my cog and I'm going to select the CNN uh, I report there now we can't see anything on here yet that's because we need to actually add it on. Now, if I just tap onto it, select it, and then double tap, we can see then title style, and then I can go to opening, middle, or ending. So we go to opening, there we go, and it drops on the V, and I can just type in David Cameron. Now, that's fine and dandy but what happens is you can see that intro bit stays on for the whole clip what I don't want it on for the whole clip is it's an intro thing so what I need to do is is just divide the actual clip up and we do that by selecting and where the timeline moves along you can see there's that pink line and what we need to do is slide our finger from the top of the clip to the bottom of the clip not from the top of the pink line to the bottom of the pink line but along the pink line where it covers the actual clip so if I do that you'll see then it divides it up very nicely and the bit before 
the split has the intro and the bit afterwards doesn't. Now, if you're getting a student to make a tutorial, that little bit in there is really, really handy and helpful because you'll want them to talk or uh, annotate what's being talked about in the actual clip whilst it's being said or being shown. Okay, so let's say uh, in this little section here, I've got a really important piece of information in there. Um, so I'm just going to slide it down and I'm going to select that little bit there and then double tap. And this is going to be a title style in the middle this time. And you can just put your information, your little annotation like so there and again as you move along you'll see then when it gets to the split point it will disappear okay so that's that now if it is just silent video other things you can do on the far right hand side you've got the option to the little microphone symbol you can record a voice over over the top of your movie you can also film straight in straight into iMovie using a little camera icon there so how do you then add in music what have you on top of that you've gone through and you've done all your little d dividing up and splittings and put all your yeah, annotations over the top what do you do next well if you want to put some music in or some sound effects then you just tap onto here choose the one you want I'll just go for a nice uh, car skid drop it in and then you just move uh, the car skid uh, wherever it is you actually want it to move to press it and hold it and you can see it's floating around like so and so I want it to drop in over here drop it and that's where the car skid sound effect will kick in easy as that so you've put all your bits in, you've done your splitting, you've put your annotations over the top, you've put your sound effects in, there's some music in the background. It's all working exactly as you want it to do. How do you finish it all off? How do you get it off the iPad? Well, once you've done that, tap on the icon and it's just here. And it'll take you back to your main screen. You can tap where the name of the project is, so just tap on there delete where it says my project 3 and put whatever it is you want to call it there it is it'll stamp it with the date and the duration or all that sort of thing so how do you get it off now then well if you go to the icon just here then you'll get a number of options and you can go to uh, your camera roll straight away so you're going to just copy it off any old how publish it straight to YouTube Facebook Vimeo or CNN I report uh, and, and, and that's that really the other options that are left of that one here just enables you to play it the plus symbol we know gets it enables you to start a new project or a new trailer and the downward arrow one here uh, just allows you to copy projects from iTunes if you've already got some projects in iTunes which I don't so simple easy to use <clears throat> effective, very cheap actually, and really powerful. And if you've got a new iPad, you know you can be working with you know 1080p HD video in this, producing some really super high quality bits of work. I hope you've enjoyed that. My name is Mark Anderson. Thank you very much.